What's up guys, my name is Bobby Lee and welcome back to another video. So, as you can see, today we are taking a look at another Japanese heavy cruiser. This is the Tier 8 Black Takao, which is the counterpart to the Tech Tree Line version. The Takao or Takao. I'm just gonna say Takao because, yeah, yeah, that's what I've always called it, right? So, first of all, I'm just gonna say I think this is a great ship. Um, it, it, in my opinion, is better than the normal Tech Tree version, since you get a Rapid Reload 1 and you get Fuel Smoke. And another thing, if you looked in the intro to the montage, yeah, like, this thing is beautiful. The camo looks absolutely stunning. You just, you do look like a samurai and ninja of some sorts. Like, you're stealthy, you, f you feel like a cool Japanese warrior or something, right? This thing has a good set of torpedoes, Japanese torpedoes, and you get these 10 guns, which is really not bad in my opinion. As you saw, I run turret traverse mod, and then I run steering and surface detection, which in my opinion is the way you should run a Japanese cruiser. You do want that surface detection to kind of give you some breathing room against BBs, for example. Um, this game we're gonna get, you know, pretty some pretty good results and in the beginning of the game in a Japanese cruiser you just want to stay at range and see if you can just chuck your torpedoes down in a corridor like this because the Iowa, I don't know if he's pushing or not, but if there was anything else pushing in that we haven't spotted yet, my, my torpedoes might just hit him, so don't be discouraged to use your torpedoes, you know, when there's no gray line. You can use them, you know, by just looking at your minimap, swapping to your torpedoes, looking at your minimap, you know, and estimating, is this target going to sail towards me, try to chase me maybe, and then my torpedoes might be able to hit. But we took out the Iowa and that was just with sheer HE. The HE is pretty powerful since you have 203mm guns. And this is the same caliber as on the Sao and pretty much the whole Japanese tech line. Now, the reason I think the Black Takao is actually like, if you do enjoy the Japanese cruiser playstyle and you want something that's kind of forgiving, then this is pretty good, I would say. I, I mean, the fuel smoke is really nice if you want to get a, you know, I wouldn't say last minute, but get a, you know, kind of sketchy torpedo salvo off where you need to go like broadside then the fuel smoke is just so nice to have. Or if you want to get out of a sticky situation, um, this, this for example here could be a sticky situation. We're, we're angling to this problem, but we're kind of broadside at the same time. And if he was shooting at us, we can take serious damage. But that's where the fuel smoke comes in and you can get out of these you know, sketchy situations. But here we see the torpedoes completely decimate the Palmer and 
you need to use the torpedoes on a Japanese ship. Um, of course, if it has torpedoes, right? These 610 millimeter torpedoes are very powerful. Um, and obviously, they, they don't have that much range on the tier 8. I believe it's 8.47. Um, I haven't looked, but it, it's not, you know, massive range. But they do deal with quite a lot of damage. And you get 6 per side, which is not bad at all. So... We are already at 2 kills and 40k damage, not, you know, the highest, but in a tier 8 game, I'd say it's pretty good. So we're just going to launch our torps down this corridor. Like I said, don't be discouraged to use them. Um, it seems this set 46 is going to get punished pretty hard, though. So, I mean, he's probably he's, he is going to dodge my torps. We're going to send a salvo his way and maybe, yeah, we might just get him. Again, never be discouraged to shoot at a DD. I make it a pro priority to shoot at destroyers whenever I have the opportunity, when I feel like I can actually get a shot in. As a cruiser player, it is absolutely paramount that you hunt down the destroyers, even if you're in a, you know, a cruiser that, you know, maybe has a harder time shooting them. The the Japanese Tech Tree ships and this one here, the Takao, is the Black Takao, is not bad at killing destroyers. Ideally, you would want to use AP on them, but at closer ranges I would use HE since the HE smacks on these ships. I mean, you, you get fires pretty easily. So your playstyle in this ship, or in any Japanese cruiser for that matter, is to stay at range if you want to farm your guns. If you want to be a little more <laughs> feisty, let's say, a little more ninja, a little more samurai, you use your surface detection and you use that module in the third slot that I spec in mine, surface detection mod or concealment mod, and you use that to your advantage. These torpedoes are devastating and a lot of battleship players will get enticed to get closer to you because, oh, it's a Japanese cruiser, they don't have that much HP, right? Yeah, well, we do have fuel smokes on this one, so you can actually kind of turn the favor, turn the battle into your favor with this ship. So here we have the other Black Takao and, I mean, as you can see, he, he is definitely launching torpedoes. When, the, when an, a Japanese ship is turning you know quite rapidly and showing a little more broadside than they might have maybe you know that they should have right you don't want to dodge you want to turn the other direction because believe me there's there will be torpedoes on the way now i'm not sure if this enemy takao did shoot his torpedoes but i don't want to take any chances um never second guess or underestimate me your enemy to have some cooldowns up torpedo cooldowns are hard to remember but guns you know with battleships are pretty easy here we have the Ochakov moving in, and, you know, the Ochakov is actually a pretty fair ship, so it's kind of easy to deal with if you're in a heavy cruiser. These these guns are not bad, so of course we swap to the HE, and, yeah, we're not going to get him quite, I don't think we get the Kraken either, I think he's going to get yanked away by a teammate, but then we can conclude this video and this short review. I think... Wargaming did a fantastic job on making a ship that is kind of, you know, it's kind of fallen behind the meta in, in terms of tier 8 and cruisers, the whole, the whole Japanese line kind of has. But giving it this fuel smoke and rapid reload, I think is a very, very, you know, welcome change because it gives it more DPM and more survivability. So if you were considering to buy this, I think you should. The Black Takao is a great ship and... If you want to learn the Japanese cruiser style, you definitely, you know, need to give this ship a chance. The Blips Pass, you know, has good ships sometimes and bad ships sometimes. But in my opinion, as a, you know, I'm not a CC. I don't get sponsored by Wargaming to get these ships. It's my own money. I was very pleasantly surprised when I saw what this ship was capable of. And with the Legendary Commander or the Elite Commander you get with it, if you purchase the big Blitz Pass... It's very nice, actually. You know, these elite commanders, they might not give much, but it, it's a little bit. So, my name has been Bubbly. I really hope you enjoyed this short review of the Black Takao. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow in my live stream at 20 o'clock or 8 p.m. European Standard Time. My name has been Bubbly, signing off.